This is a little review of my Pure Siesta Digital Log Radio. Quite a nice little unit. They're a bit overpriced in Australia, but you can get them from the UK for about half to three quarters of the price once shipped. Um, this one sent me back, was it about 120 bucks last year? Had it for a bit. Actually, pretty cool. First thing we'll do. Play room. Power. Put it into the port. The first thing you'll notice was the powers. Give a sec. It automatically sets the clock off air. Because this is a digital radio. The digital stream's got the clock constantly updated, and it's probably within a second or so of official time. Um, when the alarm goes off on this one, it's very instant it goes off, the news starts for this radio station. Is that timed to go off at the right time? Um, <clears throat> cool thing is, the alarm on these is stored in. Uh, um, permanent mem uh, memory, which means even if the power goes out overnight, it comes back on, the alarm will go off at the time it's supposed to. And that is cool, because you don't have to put batteries in it or nothing like that. The time's constantly updated, um, dead accurate, um, provided you're on the app. Um, if you're using it on FM and the radio station doesn't transmit the time by RDS, you won't get the time update and in Brisbane not a lot of radio stations send the time through RDS I think Triple M's the only one um, cool thing is with these things especially with the alarm there's multiple alarms three of them um, you can choose when you're setting the alarm say I wanted to set this one I can say set the time I can say I want it to go off just once, say tomorrow. I want it to go off every day. That's every day of the week, seven days. Just weekdays, just weekends, or a specific day of the week. Um, I can tell it I want it to start on an FM station, or I want it to start off with a beeper. Beeper sucks, but it works. Or that. Yeah, I've got mine set to dab, because that's cool. Um, you can say how loud you want it to go, um, based on volume levels. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, one of the cool things with these is it does have FM, you know, in case dab goes down or you prefer to listen to FM radio. They make a perfectly good FM tuner. Um, the only th it's also got RDS. As soon as if a radio station transmits it, as you can see, the name of the song coming off FM RDS, and that's pretty cool because um, RDS also does uh, traffic updates and things like that. We don't you really use it in Australia, but it is a possibility. Um, the dab tuner in this thing is pretty cool. Problem is, it's using this wire as an antenna, which isn't very sensitive. I reckon it would have been better with the rod antenna, but we're not going to get one of those on these, unfortunately. Um, so I string mine up to a little point up there and gets the reception it needs. Um, I'm out sort of Ipswich way, so you know, reception's not too bad around here, but we are at the bottom end of a hill. Um, I've got a couple of digital radios. This one's not the best at reception uh, compared to my other ones, but it does a pretty good job. Um, for those who s sleep in a dark room and you know don't like a lot of light, the cool thing is with these displays is auto dimming. The darker it is, the darker the display. So we really cover it. If you wake up in the middle of the night and it's pitch black, you look at it, 
you can read it, but it's not blinding and staring you right in the face, which kind of sucks when with your standard LED based ones, but you know, they're either too bright or too dim or you know, just hopeless. They sound pretty good too. That's Radio 4BH, which is an AM station. These things don't have AM tuners in, which no digital radio seem to have. Which is kind of sad, because there's a few good AM stations I wouldn't mind listening to, but... Um, for that... I've got that thing in stand. But, um, no, these things are highly accurate. Um, you've also got you know, your sleep timer, which seems to be pretty common clock radios um, easy to go through it's got a set of it's got some presets in it but digital radio it's just as easy to you know cycle through your radio station and just select it as long as you get reception obviously um, it's pretty cool Sometimes when there's storms around or something like that, the digital can get a bit hit and miss. You can drop it over to FM, use that instead. Your alarm will still go off whatever it is you defined it on. Uh, say if you left it, set it to DAB, it'll go back off on DAB, which is digital radio. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, let's find 4BH again. They've only got a single speaker on them. Seems alright. The At have least with the digital radio, the AMs actually sound pretty good. Write this down. F -A -R -L -E -Y -S. Okay. Not too loud. Well, noisy and all that. Um, so compare that to this one. There's a lot of noise. Same radio station. Turn that off. Turn that back up. Definitely sounds a lot better. The music sounds pretty awesome through it. It's good you can use it at low volume, you know. A lot of digital radios, the cheap nasty ones, always seem to sound, um... Uh, tinny, crap. Uh, they always use crap speakers and analog tuners, which clock radios really shouldn't need anymore. You know how much extra does it cost to put a digital tuner in? And then, you know, digitally tuned tuner for an analog radio or whichever. Um, they seem to work quite well. But no, uh, that's my little puppy. Um, they've got a USB port, but it's only for doing upgrades. The power supply is a. Uh, Small switch by a job, um, which means you know they don't get terribly hot when these things are turned off. They use you know, they in standby, they use next to no power off the power supply, so they're really energy efficient. Um, and if you're the sort of person that likes to turn your things off when you're out of the house, when you come back at the end of the day to put it back on, plug it back in, sets the time up itself, alarms are remembered. You know, it's guaranteed to go off. The only thing is the alarm, when there's no power, the alarm won't go off because it needs power to run the server train and all that sort of stuff. But um, that's really the only thing. It's even got a headphone socket if you want to run some headphones at night, you know, listen to some music and that. The only thing is the headphones plugged in and the alarm goes off, it'll go off through the headphones. So, you know, you won't hear it, so you need to remember to unplug them before uh, you go to sleep, so that you'll hear it, um, and it can wake up the next day. Yeah, that's my little radio, they're pretty cool. Um, still not the cheapest devices or anything, but um, they're coming down in price as they need to. Um, quite a reliable piece of equipment, actually. Um, they always do. You know, it's always gone off for me, except for once it locked up, but I think we had storms around that night, but it just sort of knocked the power out a bit, and it did freeze, but it's only happened once, so hopefully it's just a freaky thing. Um, yeah, maybe look at buying, I don't know.
That'd be pretty cool.